So, so tell us, like, what, what are some of your strategies for LinkedIn? Like, who are you targeting? How do you get their attention? How do you uh, get leads from LinkedIn? Well, um, here's the thing about uh, LinkedIn, and I, and I tell people, uh, when I, I always say this, you know, gravity applies here, too. Um, and, and I say that because sometimes people will assume that um, LinkedIn is, like, different than uh, a real networking event. So, like, in a networking event, you would not go into a crowd and just say, hey, everybody, I sell this stuff. You wouldn't do that. You build a one-on-one -on -one relationship with someone in LinkedIn. And by doing that, you, you, I, you can start identifying what their needs are. So I'll just kind of go through and I'll, and let me, let me see this here. I can't see myself, Ron, so let's, let me know what this looks like. I'm going to just kind of draw just a simple little chart so folks can kind of see what I'm talking about here. Um, so when, when you're thinking about LinkedIn, you, you want to keep in mind the same foundational principles that you would in any marketing that you do. So whether you're on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, face-to-face, -face, direct messaging, direct mail, whatever the case may be, you always want to keep in mind the two foundations of marketing, and that is one, your market, and then the other is your message. Can you see that okay, Ron? Can you see this all right? You good? Okay. So, so guys, so and I and I want to say this, 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 this right here, and I, I tell this to all my clients. Every strategy session I do with my clients, we always start with this foundation right here. If you screw this up, it doesn't matter what you do. I don't care if you're doing LinkedIn. I don't care if you're doing Facebook ads. It doesn't matter what you do. If you screw this up, it doesn't matter what you do. You get this right, it doesn't matter what you do. So, this is the foundation of everything that you want to base your business on. Your market is the people you're talking to. Right. So you've got a group of people who have some type of commonality and the, the hopes is that that commonality is that they need or want the thing that you have to sell. So you've got a market of people and then you've got the messaging, what you're saying to those people to help them to make the decision that you want them to make. Whatever that decision is, whether it's buying your stuff, hire you for whatever the case may be. Um, if you're a nonprofit, it could be. Uh, to donate or to volunteer, whatever the case may be. So you got two things. One, your market, who you're talking to. Two, your message, what you're saying to them to get them to take the desired action. So you have to start with this. You have to start with this. And here's why. When you know who your market is, you know what to say to them. So if you're going after taking in LinkedIn, for example, if you're going after, let's just say, IT firms. So what you can then do in LinkedIn is you can start here with a search for IT firms. Now, depending on what you do with those IT firms is who you're going to be talking to. So let's say you're a writer and you like to write technical documents for, for companies. So who would be the person to talk to in an IT firm who would necessarily be the one, who, who would be the one who would wanna hire you to help write technical documents. It's probably either gonna be, let's say the CEO, or it might be the CMO. It could be the, uh, the chief marketing officer. So in LinkedIn, what you do is you start searching for the industry of the people you're looking for, then you start looking for the positions of those people in those companies, and then you start targeting those people directly. So that's really where you start. 